Hi everyone, Antoinette here. Today I'm going to talk about empathy, how it's different from sympathy. I'm going to talk about the three types of empathy and some do's and don'ts that'll help you to be more empathetic. Empathy just became a word in the English language in 1909, so it's really not that old of a word. And a lot of times people will confuse it with sympathy, but here's the difference. Sympathy is when you feel sorry for another person. So say for instance, you send a sympathy card because someone's grandmother died, and so you feel sorry for their loss. Empathy, on the other hand, is when you are not looking at things from your perspective like you do with sympathy, but you are really trying to look at things from the other person's perspective. Empathy is when you're trying to slow down long enough to really form a connection with that person, to really try to get in their head, get in their heart, meaning their emotions, and really not only understand what they're feeling, but also feel what they're feeling which leads me to the three different types or levels. There's cognitive empathy, which is when you are really trying to understand someone else's emotions. So say for instance, your grandmother died. I am trying to understand what you might be feeling right now. A level deeper than that is emotional empathy. And that's when I'm not only trying to understand your feelings, but I'm actually feeling some of those same feelings. It doesn't mean that I know exactly what you're going through, but because you're very sad or you're very distressed, I actually start to feel those same emotions. And you probably experienced this with people before that you're very close to and you care about them so much that when they're unhappy or they're afraid or they're worried or they're upset about something, you actually start to feel those same emotions and that is empathy. And the third type of empathy is compassionate empathy. You understand those feelings, you feel those emotions and because you feel so connected with them, you want to show compassion for them. So I am imagining what might you want in this situation based on your emotions and what you're going through. And so I might bring you a meal or I might take you somewhere. That's when you're showing compassion to another person by doing some kind of action for them. So what does empathy require? It requires slowing down and really listening to the person because it would be difficult to understand what's going through their head and what's in their heart if you're not slowing down long enough to really listen. And that's the key for empathy is listening to them. So there's certain things that you want to avoid if you are wanting to be empathetic with someone. First of all, don't compare it to something that you've been through. And sometimes we try to do that to be helpful and say, well, let me tell you about how I reacted in this certain situation, or let me tell you about what I went through. When remember, it's not about you, it's all about them. So it's really being there to listen and support them and not to tell them about your situation. The other thing that you want to avoid is you want to avoid trying to minimize it or let them know that everything's going to be better. That can be taken as toxic positivity, which nobody likes toxic positivity. And I've got a video above and in the description below if you want to know more about what that looks like. And lastly, don't try to offer solutions. There may be a time in the future for you to try to solve the problem or get them in a better place. But for now, just slow down, suspend the temptation to try to fix it or try to make them feel better or try to solve the situation and just be there for them to let them know that you're coming alongside of them so they don't have to feel all alone. Have you ever been in a situation where someone has really been empathetic and slowed down to, to go with you along the journey of whatever it is you're going through? If so, share that in the comments below so that we can all learn from each other. Thanks for watching.